Hello friends, it is Claire from Claire's Mud where I take you along on my journey to finding and walking the path of my purpose, my dharma. Um, I've been in multiple programs this week and um, yeah, Conscious Business Accelerator is one. They're doing a launch for their full-time purpose program and Tony Robbins and Dean Gret. I don't know his last name. They had their, um, whatchamacallit, the game has changed, uh, launch for their program that they're selling right now too. And I, I mean, I know that these are all just pitches, but they are really sharing a lot of good information. So it's all just food for thought and, um, just interesting to see how people are doing sales and what they're talking about and things that people find interesting so but um, that combined with some of the other programs that I did enroll in they're all saying basically some of the same things main one being just keep showing up just keep showing up keep doing it um, one of the one of the guys in the Conscious Business Accelerator um, said their, their little acronym, which doesn't make a word at all, is like CCIA, um, Consistent, Committed, Imperfect Action. Um, and yeah, Kathy Heller says just be scrappy AF. <laughs> and yeah, the Dean, um, along with Tony Robbins, are saying, you know, just do it, be, you know, be imperfect. It's okay. And so that is what I'm doing. I've got my post shower frizzy, half wet hair and, um, not, not a whole much of topic to discuss today, but it's just really reassuring to know that all these super successful people are just saying, just do what you can do something, even if it's kind of sucky and you're judging yourself. Um, cause I definitely am. And the other thing that was talked about a little bit, um, that I almost disagree with is to be scared and do it anyway. Just push through the fear, just over schedule yourself so you don't feel the fear. And, um, that is actually the opposite of my, of my, uh, philosophy, which is feel, feel the fear and hand, like address it and like acknowledge it and love it. And, regulate the nervous system and then move forward. So that is one area that I actually have my own opinion on. Um, and that's why I'm really excited to start the certification course this fall for neurosomatic intelligence, um, which I'm very, very looking forward to. And also I had a little, <laughs> a little bit of a repeating life lesson today um, because I'm moving soon. I have a bunch of stuff posted for sale on Facebook Marketplace, and we uh, if you've ever sold anything on Facebook Marketplace, you know it can be a lovely tool, and it can also be extremely maddening. And I had um, one today that had said, you know, they were going to come at three, and then, oh no, now their flight's not getting in till two. I don't know where they're flying in from or flying to for that matter. Um, so then they wanted to come at four and then they like had to do something and then they wanted to come at six. And so it is on the day I'm recording this, it is Sunday, which is typically the day that I do my errands and I'm also trying to pack for my move. So I'm, you know, today I kind of like shifted my whole day around for this person who kept pushing back and here it's, it became like 6.15, they weren't here, I messaged her, you know, are you, hey, are you on your way? And all they wrote back was yes. <laughs> so I waited another 10 minutes and I said, you know, how, how far away are you? And, you know, do you think you can be here by 6.30? And and they were they were still like over half an hour away 
they said their ETA was basically seven at this point, and I thought, mind you, this is a five dollar item. <laughs> so I guess first lesson is maybe not put things for sale for just five dollars because it's not worth the amount of time that I spent coordinating with this person and shifting my whole day around. Second lesson which I'm not even convinced I've learned this lesson because it has happened so many times, which is I'm putting all my stuff on hold on behalf to appease or, you know, to somebody else. In this case, somebody I don't even know. <laughs> somebody I don't even know that I'm trying to get $5 from for like, I should post a picture of the thing. It's a really cute little like key holder, but it's in the shape of a dress. It's green. It's really fun. Um, but it's, it's like this silly thing. I got it in Italy when I went in 2012. Um, and I, I just don't really use it anymore. It's kind of unbalanced cause it has three hooks. And so when you, if you put a key on one side, it, it kind of swings a little bit. So, but I don't want to throw it in the dump. So anyways, here I am trying to sell this thing for $5 and I, I'm like bending over backwards, not packing, like not doing things, like not running my errands, not getting things done that I wanted to do this weekend because I'm just waiting around for this person and they're just not showing up. So <sighs> my lesson is do what I need to do for myself. Obviously, we don't need to, like, neglect feeding our family or um, taking care of urgent, critical responsibilities, but there are times where it's all right to just do your thing and not put your stuff off on behalf of someone else potentially being inconvenienced. Um, so we'll see. I hopefully I do better do better next time. But I know I've done this before in relationships, friendships, work, you know, I'm always bending around other people's needs or what I presume to be their needs and it it backfires every time. So anyways, things to think about and ponder and grow and learn and hopefully do differently next time. But thanks for joining me. If you have a habit or pattern that you know you keep doing and don't know how to stop it, or maybe you have an idea, put it in the comments. I would love to hear. Thank you. We'll talk to you later.